Hello, Virgo. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates for you. Before we jump into the uh, message, I wanted to share this company with you guys. It is called Rose Forever. It's a New York-based company. So if you guys love flowers, especially roses like I do, and you love that fresh flower smell when you step into your house, you guys are definitely going to love this. I'll be sure to put the uh, link in the description box so you guys can check them out. But there's a variety of uh, selections on the website that uh, you guys can choose from. So be sure to show them some love. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump into the reading and see what is coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for Virgo? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for Virgo? Please and thank you. Your energy popping up in the first position with the Hermit card. Ooh. Someone wants to know, are you willing to give them another chance? After all the heartache, pain, and sorrow that they put you through, someone in the past that is currently wondering about you, I'm getting that sure energy regarding this situation as I've been a fool for you once. I won't be a fool for you again. Something's working out. You got the nine of cups wanting to pop out here and show some love. So Woo! your outcome is the three of pentacles, the ace of cups and the sun card. You guys could possibly be meeting someone at work. The only thing is, yeah, with the Ace of Cups popping up here, this is a new love coming towards you. This isn't the old person. So this is a new love offer coming in for you. You guys could possibly be meeting someone at work, but this is someone that you're going, like the two of you are going to want to get to know each other better trying to learn more about each other. If you guys already know each other, then you're trying to figure out, okay, um, how are we going to make things work? Like living arrangements, like you guys are trying to move to the next level, but you're in the process of trying to plan it all out, map it all out. You're seeking some sort of like, <clears throat> right as I'm saying that, like, woo throat chakra so communicate make sure you guys are communicating okay i mean virgos i don't y'all usually don't have that issue though y'all usually just say whatever uh, y'all are like sagittarius you have to be like oh okay okay but I'm getting whoever this is that's coming towards you. If you, whatever this offer is that's coming towards you, it's going to make you very happy with the sun card popping up here. This is someone that you're going to be excited about. So, but this is someone new. You haven't been in a relationship with this person. Can you give more insight about how Virgo would know who? Four of Wands, they're telling you to get out your comfort zone because there's a connection coming in that's leading towards a long-term commitment, a lot of happiness here. You're going to be celebrating that you went towards this person, that you left someone in the past because I'm getting whoever there is yeah, because you have two options here and I'm seeing you weighing out your options and trying to figure out 
which one is the best for you. It's like, the issue here is that you have someone in the past that really has your heart and this new person, you don't know them well, so it's easy for you to misjudge this person versus someone from the past, you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. But at the same point, you don't wanna be a fool for this person again because you, you've already been a fool for this person. So, but the good thing is the Two of Pentacles is showing up in the, the upright. So it's saying that you're going to make the right decision because you're focused on the option that even though you may not see the full potential there, you know that there is a lot of potential and you're right. There's a lot of potential in this uh, connection with someone new here that you just don't know it yet. And I, it looks like that's the choice. That's the decision that you're going to be making. You're going to be very happy that you accepted this person's cup of love here because it's leading towards the four of wands, which is a lot of stability, celebrating, feeling very welcomed and love, a lot of security as well. And with it accompanied by the two of wands, it's saying that you're happy that you turned your back on this past situation and got out of your comfort zone because I'm getting that you were very comfortable with this past uh, person and you decided to explore your options or you decided to at least see where things could go between you and this new person. So if some of you guys are at that place where you're trying to figure out if you should, that's, you know, that's your sign right there. Someone is focused on you. They're definitely saying to explore this connection because there's a lot of potential in this connection. You're going to receive some sort of confirmation as well. But this person is very focused on you. They know if you've met this person already when you do meet them, they're only going to have eyes for you. What's this confirmation about? A message of hope. So you guys will be receiving some sort of message from someone short. I'm getting, I think you will be meeting this person shortly or you will be receiving the message from this person shortly. And it's going to make you feel very happy. You'll feel like a child again. This person is going to be very nurturing towards you. You guys will have a very strong bond. Um, this person constantly, if you met them already, they're constantly thinking about you and analyzing this connection between the two of you. Whoa. I'm trying to think of the name of the movie. Was it? Yes, it was Black Adam because that was the one with, um, he was the, I, he wasn't the original James Bond, but he was like my James Bond when I was growing up. Cause now we have Daniel and I love him too. I love him as an actor, but before 
Daniel, I don't know his last name, but I know his first name is Daniel. We had James, is it James? Braun? Oh my gosh, I gotta look it up. But anywho, he, he plays a character in Black Adam and his character has the ability to like make people think that it's like to create some sort of illusion here so who's creating some sort of illusion though because someone's gaining some sort of introspection as they spiritually align themselves with the divine. Virgo is popping up, arrival. So someone is coming towards you, dignified. You have Scorpio energy popping up too. Someone has influenced someone's thinking. But as someone does the necessary spiritual work that they're being guided to do, they will gain the insight regarding the situation that they need to, to know that they have been misled So take that as it resonates for whoever that is for. That's just at your service. Oh, wow. This person, this, uh, if you're like, for my feminine energy out here, like this masculine energy, this person will open doors for you. They will lay their coat over puddles for you so you don't have to get your shoes wet. Like this is someone shiv chivalrous. Gift. This person is going to tr uh, treasure you. Like you, they were blessed with you. Like, ooh. Who's this person trying to come in and steal their gift? Because they view you, there's a masculine energy that's viewing a feminine energy as their gift. Cheerfulness. Someone who wants to keep you in a third party. Oh. This person could have married a third party. So it looks like there's someone, yeah, and they just want you to be there for them whenever they need you. So it's a masculine energy that's viewing another masculine energy. They, I mean, they basically, they cannot stand this other masculine energy because they, but what they don't realize is that this feminine energy is focused on them. They're not focused on 
if they ever were focused on this masculine energy in the past or this masculine energy i'm getting that is someone that you already know because it looks like this feminine energy is very wise so she will be able to read through this other masculine energy that's very arrogant they're very cocky as well they thought they were going to put this feminine energy in a third party situation it's almost like you guys could have worked with each other as well but it's almost like this feminine energy is watching this other masculine energy work and she's just amazed that this masculine's energy style of work like the way this masculine energy works like she just adores it but then this masculine energy adores this feminine energy as well like this mas masculine energy is looking at this feminine energy as their gift but then they're like someone's trying to come and steal their gift and then they were trying to put, or they are trying to put, but like I'm saying, this feminine energy pushing, like they're not attracted to this person. They're not even focused on them. Like, I, I mean, like it looks like this person married a karmic too. There's some... <laughs> Because it doesn't look like things are going well. But these are two separate energies here. Lord of all core. It looks like it almost looks like someone here was in like a higher position than the other person. And they I'm not sure how this is all playing out, but it definitely looks like someone was definitely utilizing their position of power over someone else to get basic, get cozy with this person. But I, there's, because like this person there's like this innocence about this person. But they come across two different ways. So if this is you, you could be viewed in two separate, like very, like people think of you very differently. Like some people think of you this way and some people think of you the complete opposite. So it's like you can be this sweet, timid individual but then you're this lavish or maybe this is what you're coming into someone who's living a very lavish lifestyle or you come off some people may think you're like promiscuous promiscuous here this is interesting Okay. I'm not going to dive any deeper into that situation. Let's go on to the next deck.
sorry, you guys. I let me make sure I got this shuffled up really good because. Gemini energy is popping up. You definitely have a choice. Someone is stalking you and it's creepy as hell. Pisces energy is popping up. I'm getting like this really creepy ass stalkerish energy from someone here. Yes, a snake. This Aries energy is popping up here. This, whoever this energy is, this is not good. It's like someone is washing someone and it is, whether they're washing you on the internet, This is someone who's wanting to seduce you. I have Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, and Aries popping up here. But there's a lot of deception. This person is very deceitful. Like every, every other word that comes out of their mouth is a lie. They couldn't tell the truth if, the, if their life depended on If their life depended on it. This person is watching you and they their energy creeps me out. <sighs> Who is, why is this? Because you got another love coming in. Now you have a Cancer and a Sagittarius with Virgo and Taurus popping up. So I'm seeing you guys moving out of a dark place. Going on so ro some romantic dates that leads towards a long-term commitment. Someone who's desiring you that will withstand the test of times. Cause it's like it's been trials and tribulations, but you guys are overcoming it. So I'm saying two people like madly in love with each other. Like the two of you are really in love with each other. But then there's someone here and it has to be someone from the past that's just like stalking you. That's just like lurking in the background. I'm definitely seeing there someone that whoever this message is for, this is someone that you have a child with because it's like the two of you are connected through a child here, but this is someone who tried to take away from you any way that they could. They could have been trying to perform some sort of magic over you as well to influence your love life. Some of you guys like sex magic as well. But it looks like now that burden has been released because you're moving towards a loving, committed relationship with someone who's very protective over you. This person that you're meant to be with. 
someone who's very loving and nurturing as well. Very romantic. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands. Yeah, and this person is about to be pissed off when they find out about you being in another connection because they felt like whatever they, if they've been doing any sort of spell work over you to influence your love life, they're about to be pissed because they realize it hasn't worked or it didn't work. But whoever this is, they're pissed regardless that you moved on and you're with someone better. I'm getting this is the person that's stalking you. They're just like silently watching you. That's so weird. And then they're about to watch you in, in another connection as well. So I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you at this time. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. And I'll send it right back to you guys. With that being said, you all take care.